Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Exciting news, I have my interview today. Eee! Happy Monday everybody. I am back this week and no I don't have a sub job today but even better I have an interview and I'm really excited. It's for a third grade long-term sub and Honestly, I just found it because I constantly check this district's job website and obviously job postings. So yeah, I just saw a bunch of different ones on there. I applied for them. I talked about last week that I sent out some in individualized emails with my with um, a school specific cover letter and my resume and the next day I got a call back for an interview for this one. So I actually applied to three and I only got called back by one. So, you know, there you go, there's that. But, and I feel like you never know with these long-term subs. But I just wanted to talk about how I'm preparing. I am planning to leave in about 40 minutes. So the interview is at 9.30, but then I wanted, so it takes 15 minutes to get there and it I wanted to be there 15 minutes early um yeah I am just wearing a pretty simple outfit I'll kind of try to show you I'm just wearing some dress pants some <laughs> um just high heels like that I know what a weird angle and then this blaze this blazer and this blouse well it's kind of hard to see when it's light like that but and then just a simple necklace I need to take off my nail polish so I just have some clean fingers you can see I've taken off some I just put on some super simple makeup just covered up some of my blemishes I put on a little bit of eyeshadow and some mascara super simple and then yesterday I was going through my portfolio and just making sure everything is all ready to go looks good if you guys want to see an in-depth version of this I will link the other video um, at the end of this one so you guys can see more into it but basically you can see I have a little bit of tabbies which is why I'm getting ready early so that I can print off my new resume that I made I changed it up from the other one I used to have I need to print my cover letter that I wrote to this specific school at least I like to just to have that as a reference. I want to print my teaching license just to make sure it's in here in case they ask or whatever. And then otherwise I just went through and made sure everything was specific to this job or specific to what I'd want to talk about during my interview and everything like that. And then I went ahead and wrote down, now I don't want to show you guys because there is some like personal information in here but basically it comes with a little pad folio and on the pad folio I just wrote down important things like the principal's name the third grade teachers names the person who called me for the interview I looked at their mission statement and just wrote down a bunch of keywords so that if they're asking me questions I can try to maybe like work some of those words in there um, I wrote down some of the demographics of the school some of the important clubs and specials and um, important staff things that the teachers need to know. And then I wrote down some questions as well. Some of my questions are more geared towards long-term sub in general of like, who am I subbing for? How many students are in my class? And kind of things like that, that obviously probably wouldn't work in a typical long, um, not long, in a typical um, full-time position but one of the general questions I wrote that I think is a pretty good one that maybe you could use is what kind of school culture do you have here or do you hope to create here like basically asking kind of that question about their school culture um, another easy one is like what do you like about your job here and things like that so and then I have this little folder again there's kind of some personal information in it but um, I have my philosophy of education I have my breakout lesson 
and this is just something I can leave with them. I have my business card, and then I just have a bunch of um, letters of recommendation. I could, I don't know why I blinked on that. Um, so yeah, and then last night I practiced some interview questions, and yeah, I am. I feel I'm pretty ready. I'm nervous, but otherwise, um, this is just how I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look. So I'm gonna go print out those extra ones and I will let you guys know what happens either along the way, but I will for sure let you know what happens after. Cause I think it's really good to know for myself and for you guys to learn and know kind of what to expect in the future or um, what kind of your peers are going through. So wish me luck. All right. So the interview is over and honestly I just, I was going to, you saw that short clip, I was going to talk to you guys in the car, but I don't know, I was really cold and I just feel, felt like I needed the 15 minutes on the drive home to just like decompress and think about um, the experience. Honestly, I feel like it went well, um, I, I really feel like it did. Um, because I did already have that experience as a long-term sub before. If, you know, if you guys don't, um, I just used a lot of my subbing experience to talk about all the different things. Um, I used my student teaching experience just to talk about, like, tough students. And, um, like, <laughs> it was kind of funny. One of the questions was about how do you assess your students informally and formally and I talked about breakout I talked about like using the math expressions and I said I know they didn't but like that was something that I thought was helpful as coming back to information so I just used a lot of my experiences to talk about their questions one of the biggest questions that caught me or tripped me up was um how do you like uh, and it was like something like in math how do you make sure that you're teaching for understanding or something <sighs> that one really tripped me up I honestly like didn't even know how to respond because I like didn't really know what the question was asking so yeah that one really tripped me up and I just like froze and I didn't really respond because I just needed some time to think and honestly I didn't give much time to actually think about the questions I kind of just like boop, started right away and I was talking super fast because I was nervous and at the end I was like sorry I was so nervous but I just tried to keep it a lot like I just really tried to make sure I showed my personality and they were like their first question was what kind of teacher are you and I just try to emphasize the fact that I like to have fun, I like to dance, I like to play with the kids, I like to do all those kinds of things, um, and just really bring my personality out. And then they also asked how do you basically like build a nurturing class environment, and I talked about um, the morning meeting. I should have talked more about responsive classroom and just um, doing all that kind of stuff, but you know, in the moment you just don't think about those kinds of things. So, I don't know. Um, I'll try to write down a list of the questions. And um, I told you a couple of them. Their first question was, what kind of teacher are you? Um, some of their other questions were the, the math one. Um, how, how do you check for understanding in math? And what kind of math resources do you use? I didn't really touch on the math resources, but um, I talked a lot. Of, I try to talk about the um, how do I check for understanding. They asked um, like what I would need as a long-term sub. They asked, of course, the common, um, do you have any questions for us? They, um, I didn't even tell you. So it was all three principles of the three different positions I applied for, which was very surprising to me because I thought it was just the one third grade long-term sub. I think I told you guys that before I left. And I was quite surprised. I was happily surprised, though, because, ne like, <clears throat> excuse me, now I have gotten to talk with all of them 
So, I, you know, hopefully at least one of them will be like, wow, this is a good candidate. Um, it was kind of funny because it was like four people stationed around the table and then there was me. And so three of them were principals and one was like an assistant assistant principal. Um, there were three women, one man, and um, the one lady to my right was like smiling and happy and like, yeah, yeah, sounds great the whole time. So I'm not sure what that means. I feel like I got a range of emotions there and yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know how I think it went. Um, I honestly didn't even open up my bag. It was kind of pointless to have it. I just kind of kept talking. I talked about breakout and I said I had an example, but I didn't really take it out because it wasn't pertinent to the conversation we were having. So like, I feel like that would be much better if they were like, how do you lesson plan or like, tell us about a fun lesson that you taught. But it wasn't really that question. It was um, like, how do you basically accommodate for students who are gifted and then students who are, I think they said remedial or something like that. So I talked about that and yeah, it was just, there were lots of different questions. They do literacy collaborative in the school district. So they were like, do you know what this is? And I did have a good understanding, but I feel like I was dumb because I should have researched it a little bit more before coming in. And I just didn't even think about it. I didn't really prepare very well. Um, but with the possibility of now three different chances, um, I'm hoping that something will happen. But I think it was really, really, really good experience. I'm really happy that I did it. Um, it was definitely worth my time to go and do that. And yeah, um, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to say wish me luck, but um, I'm just... Hopeful. They said they're going to call later this week whether or not I got the position or one of the three positions. So, yeah, I don't want to get too hopeful, but I feel like it went well. But, I mean, I'm so young and, like, I don't know, probably more inexperienced compared to other teachers. But I feel like I brought that passion. I brought that excitement. I brought that love for teaching and, like, talked about how I have new ideas and everything like that. So I'm very, very hopeful. And that's my biggest advice, I think, is just like be yourself, bring to the table whatever you have. And if they like it, they like it. And if not, then <laughs> then something else will work out and you'll have an interview with a, a principal or some teachers that really like latch on to what, you know, your personality is and what you have to say and everything like that. So. I'm gonna end it here. I think I'm gonna upload this today so that you guys have it. And um, I will link my portfolio video below as well as just typing in some of the questions that I have, one for you guys and also for me to look back at when I need to prepare for interviews in the future because March is fast approaching. And I remember last year, a bunch of jobs for the next school year were posted during that time. So check in in March, guys, um, for your school districts if you're applying to jobs. Otherwise, that's all I got. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys. Um, I don't know. I'll see you. I guess. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right. I love kids. I love teaching. I love you guys. I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.